What is up, my beautiful rosebud? Of course, it is your favorite rosebud, Nisi K. Coming back with a back, back with another one. Back with a back, back with another one. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, your girl is back with yet another video for you. Yes, I am. Come ahead and bring this drama on to you guys. And this is going to be about Megan the Stallion and how it seems like she might have been throwing some shots at Cardi B but now she's trying to clear that up and come back and say it wasn't her but that it was her uh, record label all right guys now before I do get into this video I do want to go ahead and ask you guys to like this video go ahead and share this video go ahead and subscribe to your girl and hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos you guys will be alerted and you can see my beautiful face or hear my marvelous voice come across your screen also I say in every video nothing new follow 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 your girl what is you waiting for it is free 99 all social media is under gossipbud87 and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this drama all right now recently the rumor mill was swirling that Megan Thee Stallion had once again thrown some shots at Cardi B and so Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion might have some beef because Megan was seen liking some comments saying how she surpassed Cardi B and pretty much what they were throwing shots at Cardi B. Well Megan actually came out right? And not only did she say she is not beefing with Cardi B, she is saying she didn't even like those comments and that it was her record label who actually liked those comments. They're the ones who run, because this was on her YouTube, and she's saying they're the ones who run her YouTube, she don't even run her own social media. They were the ones who were liking the comments and they were just trying to start some mess and she's not beefing with no female like stop trying to start shit is pretty much what she was saying right well her, <laughs> her the owner of the record label carl crawford actually came out and addressed the situation and of course i got screenshots and everything so those will pop up um where he pretty much was like because you know all of her fans were coming onto his page and going at him he pretty much addressed the situation it was like we don't have access to this you know? we ain't doing this this ain't us and pretty much said that Megan the Stallion was lying right wow. and so <laughs> this is okay so let me pause start all the way from the beginning so as y'all know, Megan Thee Stallion and her record label are not on good terms right now, right? Because of the simple fact that Megan Thee Stallion came out and was pretty much shading her record label and trying to say how they were taking money from her and how she's suing them and all this other stuff. And she's taking them to court. And she ended up winning a um, restraining order where they couldn't stop her recent music from releasing. But they're still going to court as far as this contract thing. And... Megan was trying to say that she was taken advantage of, right? She was saying that she was 20, even though she was caught up in that because it came out that she was really, I think it was like 23 wow. when she signed the contract. And then she was saying that, you know, like I said, the record label uh, made her sign this ridiculous contract, even though it came out that her mom and her manager actually negotiated the contract that she signed and with the contract that she signed there has been a lot of people coming out saying that that's actually a pretty decent contract because in this contract she actually still has parts of her masters to where most other artists don't get their masters right but she like what it looks like is she's trying to jump ship to go to over to jay-z's label because <laughs> this girl is signed with three labels she signed with the 1505 um she signed i think that's how it is with carl carford's um label she's also signed with um 
something 300 I cannot remember the exact name and then she signed with Jay-Z label for management the other labels for distribution the 300 whatever but anyway so Carl, Carl, Carl Crawford came out and he spoke his piece on that and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you guys check out that video of him speaking his piece on that and yeah girl I'll be back I told my beautiful rosebud so you heard him speaking his piece on that right and he brings up a lot of points on that too about like how megan was pretty much lying about some certain stuff and i will honestly say um lovely t did a beautiful breakdown of all of that so if you guys want to go check out her breakdown she breaks out every single lie that like she called megan and there was a lot right but of course now that it's been known that megan is possibly lying about this deal that she's even dealing with with her label it makes me give her the side eye as far as when it comes to the comments because let's be real right let's be real this is not the first time that she's actually thrown shade at cardi b like most people try to say oh she was saying she wasn't being shady in this situation but if you remember there was a video of her where her and um and Nicki minaj were on live or whatever they were on and she threw a shot talking about writing your own music you know and that was one of the biggest things that was being said about Cardi B is she don't write her own music so she's always trying to throw shots and then hide her hands and it seems like a lot of people are starting to call her out on that because she's all like I don't even that like I don't even run my own page or whatever and so like even 
Carl Crawford had said he was like so you like well it wasn't Carl Crawford I can't remember who said it but somebody had even said okay so you don't know what's going on on your own YouTube and you don't know how much you make from your YouTube that's pretty much what you're saying and that can't be that can't be real right like you, you got to know what's going on on your YouTube and then on top of that right how could they be running your YouTube releasing your new music when allegedly they were trying to stop you from releasing any new music because you hadn't paid them. So if that's the case, this comment supposedly came up under a, a, new, a new video that you released. So why would the your record label do that? Let alone why would they put that on? Um, why would they be sitting here trying to put that up on YouTube if y'all are beefing, right? Like, it, there's a lot about it that doesn't make sense. And honestly, in the situation, Megan has been caught in lies before, right? And that's pretty much how Carl was putting it. It's like, your fave has been caught in yet another lie. And so, my opinion on this particular situation is like this. Like, to me this isn't the first time it seems like um megan the stallion has taken shots at cardi b right so i feel like if she really doesn't like cardi b why not be woman enough to stand in your own and say i don't really fuck with her right like so what like yeah you probably gonna have um the barney gang after you <laughs> i'm just gonna be real about that but hey you still have your stallions and maybe even the um the uh um Bar barbie gang um uh, Nicki minaj uh, little fans i cannot think of what they call themselves i'm not trying to say be disrespectful but anyways maybe Nicki minaj fans will also back you because of course they really don't like cardi anyway but literally it seems like she's always throwing shade and then when people come at her it's like is that shade she tries to be like no like she's trying to act like she's about women empowerment and this and that and the other and how like female rappers need to come together and she's not beefing with anybody but she be throwing slight shades she do be throwing slight shades i, I will i will say that but ultimately if she has beef with Cardi B, she needs to sit here and she needs to just be upfront and honest. It seems like she ain't trying to be upfront and honest. It seems like she's trying to blame it on other people. So if I was Cardi, I'd keep an eye out on that because uh, I don't trust you. <laughs> like you could be trying to backstab me. You could be trying to be dirty. Like uh -uh. you could be working for the ops. Nah, we ain't fooling with you. But as far as this whole with her record label thing i want to see how this whole thing plays out because like a lot of people feel like oh she's one she's one she's one because of the fact that she was granted the uh, temporary restraining order right but that's just a restraining order that don't have nothing to do with the contract bro like at all so there is a possibility that she could still be held uh, liable for what she signed because at the end of the day she signed the contract and it is a legal binding document so I'm, I'm gonna see how this plays out but right now she ain't won <laughs> when it comes to that because the only thing she did win was to be able to release her music because they allegedly didn't want her to come out but that was only for the day that she um, had requested because I think it was that her um, restraining order literally expired like a couple of days after the day she wanted to release her music so we don't even know if that even got extended because we ain't hear no more about it okay yeah so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna end this video guys y'all go ahead and comment down below y'all let me know y'all opinion on this do y'all feel like um she is sitting here being shady towards cardi b or do y'all feel like nah it's just a misunderstanding also y'all tell me y'all opinion on this whole um contract thing with her and carl crawford do y'all feel that she like is lying do y'all feel like she just tried to throw them under the bus because you know she already blasted them as having issues with them so why not just blame them for everything as far as with the whole cardi bb or um and just y'all tell me y'all opinion down below also while y'all are at it go ahead and like this video go ahead and share this video subscribe to your girl 
hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos, you guys can see my beautiful face or hear my marvelous voice come across your screen. And follow, 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 follow your girl. It is free 99. It is free 99. Go ahead, follow, follow, go ahead, follow, follow. All social media is gossipbud87. And without further ado, I am now going to end this video, guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh